Greetings from South Africa. South Africa is honored to be the 2022 co-chairperson of the Global Network of Focal Point on Women, Peace and Security, alongside Switzerland. The first leg of our chairship will be marked by the fourth capital level meetings from the 18th to the 19th May 2022, hosted by Switzerland in Geneva. As we move forward to this important meeting, South Africa wishes to emphasize the importance of the women's peace and security agenda in preventing the emergency spread and re-emergence of violent conflict, as well as addressing root cause of conflict. We move from a premise that the women's peace and security agenda has to be about preventing war and ending war where it exists where anywhere in the world. Through the Women's Peace and Security Agenda, women advocated for a world free from armed conflict and violence in which human rights are protected and women and men are equally empowered to take part in decision-making structures and processes. When women took their demand for a Women's Peace and Security Agenda to the Security Council, in 2000, they were demanding that prevention of war be a key aspect of the Security Council's agenda, along with a recognition of a capacitation of half the world population to resolve the complex challenges of global peace and security. At the heart of what women advocated for is the peace continuum that promotes conflict prevention through strategies aims at anticipating and or averting conflict such as early warning and fact-finding missions. Despite the groundbreaking UN Security Council Resolution 1325 and the formation framework on the women, peace and security, challenges still remain on realizing the meaningful participation of women in peace and security building and peacemaking processes. Women remain excluded in peace processes, including in the drafting of peace agreement. We need to incorporate gender perspective and ensure the participation of women in preventing the emergence, spread and re-emerge of violence conflict, as well as addressing root cause of conflict. South African women have a long history of fighting for the emancipation of, country, of the country as a whole and for gender equality in particular. These include, among others, the anti-pass campaign from as early as 1913, leading up to the historical march of 1956 and beyond. In the early 90s, during its peacemaking process, South African women, through the Women's National Coalition, demanded representation in the peace talk and ensure that the principle of gender equality was embedded in the policy discussions towards a free and democratic South Africa. South Africa has made great strides in the representation of women and in adopting gender-sensitive and responsive policies. Our country has succeeded in mainstreaming gender in government structures and processes and it has built the architecture to empower women and protect their rights. South Africa has been a member of the Global Focal Point Network of Women, Peace and Security since 2017. Together with like-minded states, we continue to use this platform to shape best practices in order to improve and strengthen the implementation of the Women, Peace and Security agenda in areas such as drafting and implementation of the UN Security Council Resolution 1325, True National Action Plan, Post-COVID Recovery, Women's Leadership and Participation, as well as by improving coordination of funding and assistance programs. As co-chair of the Global Focal Point Network, South Africa will continue to champion 
more efforts to highlight the normative framework of the Women, Peace and Security Agenda and the implementation of the previous Women, Peace and Security Resolution adopted by the United Nations Security Council to date. South Africa will focus on increased regional participation as well as cementing the gain made through the adoption of Resolution 2493, which was anonymously adopted by the UN Security Council in 2019 during South African Presidency of the Security Council. South Africa will continue to call for full implementation of the provision of all previous Security Council resolution pertaining to the Women's Peace Security Agenda and to reinforce their efforts in this regard. During our tenure, South Africa will seek to achieve the following. One, to promote women's participation in decision-making and representation. Two, align its commitment under the Generation Equality Forum campaign. Three, to continue to champion more efforts to place emphasis on the normative framework of the Women Peace Security Agenda. Four, to increase the number of enrollment in the Peace and Security Training Modules. Five, to promote the work of the Focal Point Network at the Gertrude Shopper Annual Dialogue Forums. Six, to promote the mainstreaming of the Women Peace and Security Agenda at national, regional, and global level. Joint areas of focus, South Africa and Switzerland, and the co-chairs have agreed that the UN Security General's report on women, peace, and security, and the 2015 Global Study on the implementation of the UN Security Council Resolution 1325 will serve as a guide on issues that must be addressed. It was also agreed that the 2022 joint priorities will be centered on the main challenge of the Women, Peace and Security Agenda, focusing on the closing the implementation gaps of the UN Security Council Resolution 1325 and subsequently UN Women's Peace Security Resolution as well as identifying ways to follow up on the implementation of the UN Security Resolution 2493. The co-chairs will identify innovatives and transformative strategies that are action-oriented and leave a tangible legacy that positively impact on the implementation of the Women, Peace and Security Agenda. Inclusion of civil society will be part of our issues, strengthening links between multilateral instruments and the Women, Peace and Security Agenda with post-COVID-19 reconstruction effort are the issues that we are going to campaign on. I thank you.